Welcome to Spotlight on Schools. I'm Jennifer Eddins. Today, we visit Aversboro STEM Elementary School to learn more about their science, technology, engineering, and math focus. Here, students, teachers, and administrators focus on mutual respect, community collaboration, and high academic standards. The North Carolina STEM Network's mission is to ensure that all students are career and college ready by engaging in rigorous and relevant science, technology, engineering, and mathematics education. STEM coordinator, Christy Janess. Well, at Aversboro, we are looking to really supplement the 21st century learning skills that I would say every school sees as important these days, but STEM basically takes those skills a bit further. We are looking to teach our kids to be problem solvers. Um, we use a lot of the engineering design process to have our kids follow a set of steps that an engineer would follow um, to solve problems. Particularly, we do it a lot in science, but we've also applied that engineering design process to writing, the steps of the writing process. So we use it in, our music teacher uses it when they're choreograph choreographing a dance um, to go through that process. So it's about teaching kids to be thinkers and to follow a process. That's a big part of STEM learning. In addition, our students create a lot of uh, projects in groups, so we're working on working cooperatively with others, which we know employers today are looking for people who have skills of working with other people, who are strong communicators. So we're not just looking at what you'd think of as STEM being technology-based um, or 21st century learning being I can use a computer. It's also about communication. It's also about collaborating with others. And through uh, our project-based learning and our engineering design process challenges and really just an integration of 21st century skills, we are looking to take elementary school students and expose them to higher level thinking through the curriculum. I mean, we are required to teach the curriculum the same as any other school, but we kind of take it and put a spin on it where uh, students are becoming better thinkers as well as learning the content. In a STEM school, Science is designed around a guiding question and a final project that requires students to meet a challenge or solve a problem. The technology aspect means every classroom has wireless capability, an interactive smart board or BenQ projector, and a document camera. And students become experts with these tools. Students also utilize the engineering design process to solve problems by brainstorming, researching, creating, testing, and improving. And when studying math, students become fearless problem solvers who question concepts and apply skills to real-world situations. Oh, where did it fall out? There, there's, that's what you need to fix. So, Ms. Nemo, what technology do you utilize in your classroom, and what technology are your students becoming experts at? Well, we use a lot of technology, actually. We start um, by using the um, document camera, where we use man manipulatives, whether it be letters and building words, or it be math mani manipulatives. And um, we use those under the document camera. They're very good at maneuvering them and explaining what they're doing. So it actually shows a big screen up onto our board. So we use that. We also um, use iPads. They love the opportunity to use the iPad. Okay. And we use those um, with word building skills. They use those to um, do different math games and kind of just explore different areas um, with math and, and language arts. And then we also use the computers for our reading program. And they listen to a lot of books read to them on the computer. Um, they're actually read live and they see the pages turning. There's text at the bottom of them so they can follow the text. And we really focus on fluency and accuracy when they're listening to those stories. And um, we also use them to expand vocabulary. So when we are re you know, reading books with new words, we're able to come to the computer or go to the iPad and use those to look up the new words and the meanings and actually then write them down into a vocabulary notebook. So. 
Okay, and they enjoy the technology activities. They when they're on the it. computer or the iPad, that's their probably favorite time of the Absolutely, day. Absolutely, yes. If they have the opportunity to take the iPad to their seat and use it, that's the first thing they're going to do. Um, and it's really getting them used to using keyboarding skills also, and a lot of them have these things at home. So not only are they using them in the classroom, but then they can take that you know, knowledge that they learn and they can use those actual educational activities at home on their own iPads or their computers that they have at home. Ms. Griffin, how does a STEM classroom differ from what we all know as a traditional classroom? Well, I think in a STEM classroom, the children are involved in learning those skills that are going to help them in their daily lives as they grow up. They learn how to talk to each other, how to discuss, how to help each other, uh, how to solve a problem, how to develop those critical thinking skills. They learn to work in groups, and as uh, I guess you can't see right now, but we have them. I had my groups, my class in teams, and we had a team leader and a team helper. We discussed before we ever started our STEM unit in science about what it means to work as a team, how, do you, how are you um, able to help your teammates, what makes a good team member, what makes someone, because that's the real world when, sure. we, when we get out of school. We have to learn how to work with each other and right. this kind of thing. But in the STEM classroom, we focus on um, projects where they are learning real life things. Um, our little science project was on how to um, use speed and uh, force and the force of gravity and these kinds of things to help them learn how to make something move in a certain way. And we built marble machines and they built, um, they did a drawing first and then I gave them their supplies and it was really a little difficult for them but they had to go back and fix different things and many of the children did very well and some had a little trouble uh, knowing what to do but it's a, it's that problem solving where they have a group sure. of children that they're working with so I think in the STEM classroom they um, they're able to think creatively and um, help each other and solve problems and discover things without me just telling them they're able to actually discover in the STEM I've, school. Yeah and one thing I've noticed here today is you know I think we grow so accustomed to being afraid of making mistakes and making mistakes is part of a problem solution process and I, I noticed that the students, you know, they would make a mistake and then they would go back, reevaluate and say, okay, what can we do to fix this? And I, I love that you guys, you know, promote using mistakes to help you figure out a solution. Right. And we had to help a lot. Some of them just almost looked at the materials like, what do we do? And then some of the children just knew exactly how to do so it, it's just it's neat to see because um, you see the strengths and weaknesses of all your students then it's not just oh well they'll, that group will get it no maybe they won't get it but someone in that group can maybe help so that's real life that's the way it is in real life At Averageboro, we have several staff development where we are working with our STEM coordinator and she's giving us lots of resources and she's supporting us. She's in our classrooms. We've had half day planning where we've all sat down as a team and we've just come up with ideas for what we can do to get our kids involved in the STEM program. Um, right now we're learning how to use Discovery Ed in our classrooms, not only use it with our students, but to create lessons with just using Discovery Ed, so. So it's a constant stream of yeah. learning. Just We're like always, your students, yeah. you're always learning. Right, and our STEM coordinator is wonderful. She's always giving us resources and just dropping by and saying, here, I found this, we can use this for STEM, or so it's. So much like you expect of your students, you have a collaborative effort going on as teachers as well. Yeah, definitely. Teachers offer students learning opportunities that revolve around science and integrate other core curriculum. The lessons are inquiry-based while also exposing students to the varying technology that exists today. The first grade is currently involved in an innovative STEM unit focused on balance and motion. Students participate in a series of hands-on activities that help them discover and understand. First grade teacher Amy Lindstrom explains. Um, our students started out exploring the concept of balance, did several experiments exploring how objects balance weight, counterweight, counterweight. Um, and then we did some experiments where they got to explore um, 
slope and how that affects the speed the objects move. We explored friction. Um, we went on a field trip where they got to try out the balance and motion and friction using um, roller skates. Mm. And um, so now they are working on their, their final project where they are putting all those things together to build their boards, where their um, challenge was to get a marble to move from the top of their board into a cup at the bottom. They are very excited when they can work together and get it and get meet their challenge, get yes. their, their marble in that cup. And are you amazed every day that such young students can grapple with such advanced concepts? Yes, yes. They, I mean, they, it's of course, you know, in a more first grade level. It's sure. not a super deep understanding, but sure. they, are, they, are, they can explain to you why, well, I lowered the slopes because I needed the marble to slow down because it was going too fast and it was bouncing out of the cup at the end. I mean, they are able to do all of that. We're trying to get the marble all the way down down so so we can try to get it to to the cup it's been so hard yeah. to get it in the cup do you think you'll figure it out though yeah 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 Maybe. because we gotta work it we can work it out we had to if it went too fast if it went too fast to get out so we fixed a little and then we put some friction with the tape and then it's it was slowing down and then it got in the cup Aversboro Elementary wants to provide its students with good choices in life, while also bolstering the economic strength of its community. We know right now that STEM careers are the fastest growing sector of jobs aside from healthcare in the United States. Um, we also know that less and less students are majoring in STEM careers in college. So we have predicted a huge need for STEM careers um, within the next 20 years and predicting also that we're not going to have nearly the amount of people trained and ready for those careers. And so by using STEM education, particularly in elementary school, our students are going to know at an early age how to collaborate. They're going to have those advantages that have to do with thinking and working together, but another big piece of our STEM program is real world connections and we have a STEM career day actually coming up next week where we're going to have a lot of parents and community members coming in to speak with students about how they use STEM skills in their job. And so I think it's important for kids to see at an early age why what they're doing in school um, why they're doing it and how it will affect their futures and it also gives gets them thinking about jobs that they might not even know exist and thinking about why it's important to do well in school or to really if I'm interested in this then I probably really need to uh, focus on science because science is a big need for this kind of career. It's truly amazing to see elementary students engaged in such challenging problems Thanks to their teachers, who have developed engaging, exciting, and interesting lesson plans, these students are becoming the young minds of tomorrow. Thank you to Aversboro Elementary School for allowing us unlimited access to witness your STEM program. If you think we should spotlight your school, email me at jennifer.edens at ewtv.org. Thank you for watching this episode of Spotlight on Schools.